if you're a fighter, these guys are all looking to get in your pocket. It's another business. It's 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 a business where guys are going to make money. And as a fighter, if this is what you want to do, you got to figure out whose hand you want in your pocket. And I guarantee you, you don't want Bjork's uh, hand in your pocket. You know what I mean? This guy is one of the biggest. The, oh, the one thing that I do know that came out of this thing is this scumbag who knows nothing about our business is talking. To, he says, yeah, they only pay the, the, the fighters 8% uh, you know, of the revenue. I hope you're talking about Conor McGregor, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're paying 8% of the revenue. You must mean Conor McGregor, right, Bjorn? You stupid motherfucker. Bjorn, how would you respond to what Dana White had to say there? My response would be simple. Pay your fighters 50% of your revenues, just like what every other major sports league in this country pays. Provide them with a pension plan, some kind of safety net for the guys that in their mid-30s are going to be dealing with CTE, with horrible injuries. Pay them a settlement for the last decade of paying them a, a fraction of what they deserve. And you'll never hear from me again. People have mentioned the 8% number you have put out there. How, how did, did y'all guys come up with that number? It comes from their actual numbers. It comes directly from them. It's their real numbers. You'll notice that... The simple response and the reasonable response that anybody with ethics or morals would have would be, here, let me share all of our numbers with you so that you can see exactly what we paid our fighters. But they're not willing to do that. Of course, they're not willing to do that. Because if they did that, everybody would see the level of gluttony and the level of greed in black and white on paper. You know, I, I'm a little shocked, I'll tell you this, that Cowboy Cerrone didn't give me a call. You know what I mean? If, if you're that unhappy and whatever, let me tell you this, too, and, and, and not to be whatever, but first of all, he's only main evented, headlined like three fights, right? Fight nights. Right. Headlined three fights in his career. Never held the title in the WEC. Never held the title in the UFC, right? And a couple of years ago, he was on his boat. He gets into a beef, right, with a guy in another boat. He's in big trouble. Who does he call? He calls me. What do I do? I go out and find him the best criminal defense lawyer, and I spent over $100,000 of my own money. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you, you know, felt like he should have called you. Yeah, for Cowboys and Roni. So, you know, when I see Cowboys standing up there, it's like, all right, really? Okay. Would you describe that as a bullying type effort? And do you think that there may be other fighters who are thinking about publicly coming out in support of the MMAAA that may hear that and may decide that maybe they have a little fear of coming out for uh, publicly? When the UFC, Jason, got sold to WMEIMG, Dana White walked away with roughly $400 million. Every year prior to that, he was making in excess of $20 million a year. I can say it again. When the UFC sold WMEIMG, Dana White, who just belittled Cowboy Cerrone and talked crap about a gallant warrior who's fought in the cage innumerable times and who fans love, made close to $400 million. That man, that gluttonous pig, and he got $20 million a year on average before that to run the UFC. And he's got the cojones to step up and to belittle Cowboy? How many fights did Dana have? How many times did Dana step into the cage in the WEC and the UFC? But he made close to $400 million when the organization got sold. Please. Are you kidding me? Subscribe for daily videos and MMA updates.